much holding on to you, Kobe. <laughs> you're gonna fall. Oh, and you're choking me. <coughs> Kobe, this is not cool. <laughs> okay, I'm letting you go now. <gasps> A very good morning. A very good morning to you. Today is Sunday. I'm in my PJs. Actually, these PJs are Emirates PJs. Yeah, Emirates PJs. Chooch! <laughs> and I came back from Kuala Lumpur yesterday night around 8 o'clock. And it's just been such a good vibe. I really miss home as much as I travel. I miss my home. I miss my bed. I miss my baby. And yeah, it's Sunday morning. Calvin just finished his breakfast, playing with his toys. He's into aeroplanes, so I got him an aeroplane set. And he was very thankful. Anyway, um, I'm trying to unpack as best as I can because I've done most of the work. All the dirty clothes are out, but there's still so much stuff I got from H&M. I also got a candle from H&M, which I'm really loving. I wish I knew I would have gotten more of these. I got this candle. It's uh, olive and sage. It makes my house smell so nice. I'm pack up my bedrooms. It's really nice. So anyway, um, yeah, today is Sunday. What are we doing today? Apart from chilling in the house, I just want to spend some QT with my boo and yeah do the unpacking and all that we need to go to the supermarket because we need to do some shopping we have a few things you know that are out of stock can you see out of stock in your own house we've ran out of a few, a few things please ignore my hair i need to find time to just sort it out i want to remove them and because i've just missed my hair and just miss a nice flowing wig or something yeah so i need to find time to remove this her have clothes on the floor lord jesus so yeah i'm just going to unpack all this stuff this is the h&m stuff and then um yeah i can show it to you if you like around the house and my focus come on there we go so I've done a few things around the house and it's about almost I think it's almost 3 2 30 something like that and I have my H&M receipt and so I decided to do a mini clothes haul for you I basically picked up a lot of workwear because I've lost weight it's no surprise and I'm really struggling to get ready for work every day so I'm also getting rid of a lot of my clothes which don't fit anymore they're in very good condition but they're huge um, so the more I clear out my wardrobe the more I'm making space for more stuff so I have a couple of pieces I think I have 10 or 11 in total this are the stuff you know I picked out for me but I got stuff for like the kids and you know but this is just the stuff for me and I wanted to show you my phone is ringing one second. Okay, but what are the alternatives? Yes. Okay, so I think I told you guys earlier I had to do a bit of grocery shopping. Calvin and I are so lazy, we're not leaving the house. We've just been watching a movie and eating. So <laughs> I ordered from my Numi app, which is fantastic. They were just calling me to tell me that three things from my order you know if they can change and whatever and that's just a blessing so um yeah onto this mini clothes haul i'll start with the accessories so i have these hair ties i will try and put the price on the screen if i can remember or i'll tell it i'll tell it to you it's easier um so should i just anyway um i will tell you the price if i can remember but everything um, is in Malaysian ringgit so multiply by 25 so if it's one ringgit it's 25 bob if it's a hundred ringgit then it's 
2500 okay so these are hair ties and i love to get uh hair ties i think you've seen me wearing a couple so i just whenever i get a chance and these things are normally really cheap whenever i get a chance i like to get a hair tie there are two one is here it's in this pattern and the other one i've just put on my bag because i'm there's a the bag i got i am um yeah it's the one i'm carrying so i've just put it here as a little decoration but this is the second tie there it is okay um also i got a black belt oh those hair ties were 30 39.95 so 40 ringgit for those two and then i got this belt which is just a black belt my gucci belt apparently it's just too big i've tried to reduce the size of it nothing is working for me when it comes to that belt and i need a good black belt and i enjoy i enjoy like a nice buckle detail so i just got this one from h&m in the meantime as i think of what to do and this was really cheap i'll tell you the price the belt was also 39.95 multiply that by 25 and it's in the size extra small okay next i got three pairs of shoes and these i would consider very classic shoes also i didn't know if you lost weight you lost weight in back of your feet because let me tell you my shoes are coming out like some of them the heels especially if i wear they're just coming out like my foot has become thinner weird so anyway uh the first pair of shoes i got are uh, this ones there's so just ballet flats patent black plain very very cute this was 39.95 everything was 39.95 so 40 ringgit and then i got uh black heels which were a bit expensive so i've got black court shoes i do have court shoes currently from next but they are coming out they're the ones i'm talking about I wore them to the women's conference on the first day and they were just sleeping out and it was so embarrassing. So I got this pair. It's also a UK 39 because that's the size I wear. But because they're new, I haven't like expanded them. So this fit perfectly. This was 75 ring. Oh, these were 75 ring it. Another very cute pair of shoes I found are these ones. They are Pipto style. They're so cute on. And the color, let me just try and... There they are. It's like a nude peachy. It's not peach. It's like a nude color. Really cute. Uh, suede. Feels like suede fabric. So these ones I will not be driving in because I will scuff the back. So they look just like that. Very comfy. They were. These were ninety nine point five. So these are probably the most expensive thing here. I guess I think. So these were ninety nine. Bring it so the last accessory i got from h&m is this scarf it's so so pretty the first time i saw it i knew i had to have it i have a thing for scarves i have three the burberry one an animal print one and a red one so this is my fourth one and i just love them because they just it's a nice layer when you know you want to just be warm but at the same time you don't want to wear a jacket so this scarf was 45 ring it i'm saying 45 because i'm rounding it off it's 44.95 so for bring it it's quite big and it's quite thick i love the pattern i love the neutrals next is this oh it's not being washed off next is this lightweight cardigan i had considered getting something like this for the gig boutique and i think i will now that i've seen how pretty this is in real life um so this cardigan is in a size small and it is 40 ring it um i like it as a layering piece i can wear it with like a white shirt and jeans or just you know on its own with like a um what do you call it with like black pants for work you know just something simple so this was 40 ring it still in the same color pattern i got this shirt which feels satiny is that a word yeah it's like a satin shirt very nice beautiful gold button at the the first one is gold but the rest are like uh covered so you can't really see this is so gorgeous this is a pair of jeans or this with like black pants for work really nice i got this in the size uk 10 for loose fitting i hate when buttons like i just trying to pop 
So I got it size 10 and this is 75 ringgit. Also, I got another blouse. This is just a navy. Is this navy? Yeah, it's navy, but it could be black. Very deep navy. This navy shirt, very flowy fabric. Um, it's not satin, but it's it's lightweight and it's not see-through. Also got in a UK 10, also 75 bring it. And then I got a staple that I've been needing. This is a black blazer with the sleeves ruched. I have a black blazer, but, oh, it's so bright. I have a black blazer, but it's Baman. And every time I want to get that blazer, I have to think 54,000 times if that occasion is really worth that blazer. Because if I wear and I get foundation, then I have to go and dry clean it. And for them to dry clean it, they have to remove all the buttons and then dry clean, then sew all the buttons on. Sometimes when they sew the buttons on, they just lose. Like I lost a button from another blazer I own. It's uh, a nude one. I lost a button and now where am I going to get that button? I have to go to eBay and maybe search for the button. But long story so i wanted a simple black blazer that i could throw on without caution and this one fits perfectly i got this in a uk 8 and it doesn't have any buttons so it's not very formal wear it with jeans or you know with a blouse to work it's lightweight so it's perfect for layering with like the yellow cardigan that'll be cute so yeah this was 158 this is 158 ring it Third last thing, another classic, I wanted a pair of black trousers. Um, I sold, I had a pair exactly like this from the Geek Boutique, but I sold them in my last uh, closet sale. Again, it was too big. So I got this in a UK 10 and this fit really nicely. The high waist detail with the waist tie is just perfect. Plus they fall perfectly on the, like on my, my ankle, just beautiful. This were 140, bring it. Really worth it. Aha, uh -huh. second last item is this dress. This is a denim dress and it has a weight, um, what do you call it? Um, belt, uh, not a belt, waist tie and it, the buttons go all the way down. This is so cute. The minute I saw it, I'm into, I love my dangari. I mean, I carried it to Kuala Lumpur, so I love my dangari. And this is very dangari-esque, but now it's so cute because you can just wear it with a, like a t-shirt inside. It's so pretty and it falls right um, on, the, on, the, on, the, on my knees. It's really so feminine and so cute. It just frames your body really nice. The jeans material has a little bit of stretch, so it just hugs you really nice. This was 100 ringgit. And the last item is a jumpsuit. Here it is. This is black, I believe. Yeah, this is black and white. It could look like navy though, but this is black and white. Um, has a waist tie that's attached at the back. So you just tie this either on the side or at the center. It has a zip running all the way back. Um, it's long, it's not culotte style. Um, I don't mind because I have a white one, white with black stripes that's culotte style. I like that one, but this one goes all the way down. So this is cute, has pockets. This is really good for work. If you wear a shirt underneath or just for chilling, if you wear it like this with some sandals. So yeah. I normally would shop at Zara, but I didn't get anything from Zara. I feel like I went to H&M and I got all my needs fulfilled and for a portion of the price because Zara can be really, really expensive. So I'm glad that I bought these things for the price I did and I'm going to get a whole lot of wear out of these things. So yeah, yay, yay, yay. Um, I'm going to try and find the links to this clothes and put them in the description box bar below because H&M is global so I'm assuming they're, they're the same product everywhere but I was really surprised by the stock in Kuala Lumpur. I thought it would be like the stock in Hong Kong because I, I went to Hong Kong and my luggage got lost so I had to shop in H&M Hong Kong and they didn't have options. But yeah, this one really surprised me and I loved I loved Even the kids section was amazing. So yeah that's my little mini haul um i just got something delivered let me show you i'm just keeping this on because this is the last blast that i shot it's really nice um i got something delivered let me turn around and show you so i got this stand thing 
it looks just like that from wasp and sprout and i bought it well i saw it when i was there for brunch another day and i really liked it i like the style so simple and it's just metal so it's minimalist but it's green so i actually want to buy another one make them two and then paint them this color this paint them this it's like a goldish but not goldish color just spray paint them and then have them oops then have them on this wall like this at the bottom i'll put some wicker baskets and i've already arranged some of my magazines i just have some of my books and a candle that was burning earlier then at the top i just want to have some photos and make this place a little bit more you know put some use to it but yeah so because it's just a plain wall this is literally behind my couch so this spot there we are i will leave the contacts for wasp and sprout at the bottom if anyone wants to get one of these it costs seven thousand bob and it is mabati chuma that one all right okay I think I should end this vlog here. I don't want to make it too long. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to make it too long. Catch you on my next one, love and light. Peace. Say peace. Peace. It's peace. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace, guys. Why are you talking like that? Because you said. <laughs> because I said so. Yes, I'm the boss. <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs>